Good morning on this wintry Friday. It's Super Bowl weekend. The Philadelphia Eagles face the New England Patriots in Minneapolis on Sunday. New York is sandwiched between Philadelphia and New England, the team's home turfs. So as a city, we may be feeling split in our loyalties. Whether you are serving Philly cheesesteak or Boston cream pie, here is some New York football trivia. Lest we be forgotten. There will be New Yorkers on the field. Eagles safety Corey Graham and defensive end Stephen Means are from Buffalo. Mr. Graham, along with the team's star safety, Malcolm Jenkins of New Jersey, has already won a Super Bowl. The Patriots' star tight end, Rob Gronkowski, is from Amherst, NY. Running back Dion Lewis is from Albany and safety Devin McCourty was born in Nyack. Roughly 40 of the 300 athletes in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, played for New York teams not only the Jets and the Giants, but also the now defunct Staten Island Stapletons, the New York Yankees, the New York Bulldogs, the New York Titans, now known as the Jets and the Brooklyn Dodgers. We were there first. Both current new York teams, the Jets and the Giants, won the Super Bowl before the Eagles and the Patriots. The Jets' win was in 1969, the Giants' first, in 1987. The Eagles have yet to win in the Super Bowl era. Also on the list of Giants' victories, Two Super Bowl wins against the Patriots. The first time, in 2008, Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg of New York City and Mayor Thomas M. Menino of Boston placed a bet on the outcome. After New York prevailed, Mr. Menino sent 100 cups of New England clam chowder, 144 Boston cream pies, and other local delicacies to Mr. Bloomberg. The food was donated to charity. And the last time the Patriots lost the Super Bowl, it was also to the Giants. Wins the game, the indoor game starts at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday on NBC. Here's what else is happening. Poor Groundhog. The cold continues with temperatures in the 20s. You may see some flurries during the morning commute. Skies are supposed to clear later, and the sunshine is expected to last through most of Saturday. On Sunday, we're expecting a wintry mix of snow and rain again. The Hempstead School District, which has been plagued with corruption and infighting at the students' expense, now faces a deadline for change. New York Times A Shinnecock Indian is set to argue that fishing for a valuable eel in a section of Long Island is his tribal right, despite state regulations. New York Times Mayor Bill de Blasio called for a spending increase after his first term saw growth in tax revenue and economic expansion, unveiling an $88.7 billion budget. New York Times The federal government is preparing to dock the state $14 million for the I Black Heart New York signs installed on highways by Gov. Andrew M. Cuomo, calling them distracting to drivers. New York Times The state of Connecticut warned that weekend train service on three branches of the New Haven line could be eliminated as a result of the state's $3.5 billion deficit. New York Times E.M.T.S. who responded to an episode involving a mentally ill woman who was fatally shot by the police in the Bronx are offering a different account of what happened. New York Times Balanchine's Ballet Square Dance returned to New York and will be performed at Lincoln Center. New York Times A couple that needed to escape the space constraints of living in New York City found a new home with a skyline view in Jersey City. New York Times The Jewish Museum on Fifth Avenue is adding a fresh take on its collection by focusing on visual art, not just history. New York Times Two high-ranking editors of the Daily News, Rob Moore, the executive editor, and Alexander, Doc, Jones, 
the Sunday editor, were fired after an investigation into allegations of sexual harassment. New York Post The John Jay College of Criminal Justice has created an online database archiving slaves in New York and those who owned them. WNYC The Empire State Building is looking to fill over 50,000 square feet of retail space. Bloomberg News Today's Metropolitan Diary, special sister time for a global look at what's happening, see your morning briefing Groundhog Date, an improv comedy show about dating, at the People's Improv Theater in Flatiron. 6 p.m. $8 Join the director Jorge Thielen Armand for a screening of La Soledad, his film about turmoil in Venezuela at Museum of the Moving Image in Astoria, Queens. 7 p.m. $15 Obama Daughters, Requiem for America, a comedy show about Sasha and Malia saving our country, at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in Hell's Kitchen. 7.30 p.m. $12 Ace Frehley of the rock band Kiss performs at St. George Theatre on Staten Island. 8 p.m. Tickets start at $29 Nets host Lakers, 7.30 p.m. Yes. Knicks at Bucks, 8 p.m. Message, dot watch the New York Times close up, featuring the Times's Daniel J. Waken and other guests. Friday at 8 p.m. Saturday at 1.30 p.m. and Sunday at 12.30 p.m. on CUNY TV alternate side parking remains in effect until February 12 weekend travel hassles, check subway disruptions and a list of street closings. Saturday an introduction to podcasting workshop and a social media crash course at QED in Astoria, Queens. Noon. Prices vary a celebration of the blues a Black History Month exhibition by the city's Parks Department, opens with a reception at Poe Park Visitor Center in the Bronx. 1 p.m. Free figure skating in Harlem hosts Soul on Ice, a skating party with food, music, raffle prizes and performances, at Lasker Rink in Harlem. 1.30 p.m. $15.00. Tickets here The Richmond Tavern Ackley Choir performs an acoustic concert at Guyon Tavern in historic Richmond Town on Staten Island. 6 and 8 p.m. $16 Devils Host Penguins, 7 p.m. Message Plus 2 Icelanders Host Blue Jackets, 7 p.m. Message Plus Rangers at Predators 8 p.m. Message. Sunday New York Road Runners hosts guided morning jogs through parks in Staten Island, the Bronx, Queens, and Brooklyn. 9 a.m. Free rock out to the music of the Beatles during a family friendly concert at Brooklyn Bowl in Williamsburg. 11.30 a.m. $12 Winter Carnival continues with performances and activities around the rink at Bryant Park in Midtown. Noon to 10 p.m. Free admission, $20 Skate Rentals make intricate Valentine's Day cards in a workshop, taught by a local artist, at the Windsor Terrace Brainery in Brooklyn. 2 p.m. $30 Nets host Bucks, noon, yes. Nick's host Hawks, noon, message. For more events, see the New York Times's Arts and Entertainment Guide. Yesterday, we put New York Today readers to the test with HQ trivia questions about our city. By 5 p.m. on Thursday, we had received more than 8,000 responses. 80% of those did not make it past the first question. And only 65 people that's less than 1% of everyone who responded answered every question correctly. Congratulations to you 65. A plus dot.
Here are the correct responses which designer does not have a Soho storefront? Gucci the Heffernan family on the King of Queens lives in what Queens neighborhood? Rego Park what is the only Brooklyn neighborhood mentioned in Jay-Z's Empire State of Mind? Beds to a mausoleum named for what prominent American family can be found in New Dorp, Staten Island? Vanderbilt's Soho contains a museum dedicated to which New York organization? Fire Department which New York Island contains the ruins of a smallpox hospital? Roosevelt Island what poet wrote Annabelle Lee while living in the Bronx? Edgar Allan Poe. New York Today is a morning roundup that is published weekdays at 6 a.m. If you don't get it in your inbox already, you can sign up to receive it by email here. For updates throughout the day, like us on Facebook. What would you like to see here to start your day? Post a comment, email us at New York Today at New York Times. Com or reach us via Twitter using number nytoday. Follow the New York Today columnists, Alexandra Levine and Jonathan Wolf, on Twitter. You can find the latest New York Today at newyorktoday.com.